Teaching is an incredibly rewarding profession, but we know that the statistics tell us that early career teachers are leaving in droves. Um, and that's really frightening, not just for the teaching profession or for the students that they teach, but actually from a social and from an economic perspective, we really need great teachers in front of every student in every school. There is absolutely a balance to be had between understanding your students and engaging them in learning that really matters, but also meeting all the accountability uh, requirements that come with the profession and I think that balance becomes difficult for teachers at times. As an educator and as an educational leader, it's heartbreaking to know that there are people out there in the profession who have come in with enthusiasm and a real commitment to make a difference, who feel that um, the profession is a really difficult one. So in the community in which I work, there is a, a huge number of early career teachers coming to schools in our local area, so it's really critical that we support and nurture our early career teachers. At the moment we're finding new teachers coming straight from university with a theoretical background in a number of areas, however they're lacking practical experience in what it means to be a classroom teacher and manage the many diverse roles and responsibilities that they will find themselves in the middle of in their first year of teaching. Our school tried to solve this problem through a number of ways. One of them was by listening to our early career teachers to understand what the challenges were and by moving through the design thinking process with our early career teachers to design solutions that would work for them. A number of prototypes came out of that. So one was called MeTube, where early career teachers said they wanted to observe themselves teaching. The MeTube program is a um, video videoing of lessons, focusing on maybe a specific area or strategy that I'm trying to develop. And then I can watch back and we can develop ways for me to help improve certain areas. The prototype is staff list on steroids and it's about getting all the expertise and knowledge of our staff onto a list. As a beginning teacher, I think it's really important that I know the skills and attributes and values of our teachers, especially if I'm stuck on who does connected learning or who does co-created learning, I can get skills and expertise from those people on the list. So as Deputy Principal, I love it when someone comes to my door and says, hey, I've got a new idea, I'd like to try this. Obviously, when we do look at approaching problems in new ways, we look at making sure that it is tested and that it's implemented in a way that's going to improve student learning outcomes. But certainly we encourage those ideas to come to the top or come to the surface of what we're doing and we support staff to implement them. Failure is definitely part of the game and you actually have to embrace failure um, and look at the positive side of it. There is no possible way for change unless the leadership it, um, themselves are helping to lead the change. To actually have some control and to, um, to be able to, to make changes that you see need being done, I think it's, it's very powerful. And we've got lots of people now trying different things and not trying them big so that if they fail, it's a big failure. We've got people trying little things and then scaling, which is, uh, I think, a better approach. As an early career teacher, I think it's really important to have teachers that can support me because then I feel nurtured and I also feel like I can do this and I'm not going to be one of those statistics where I drop out in the first five years. The retention rate of our early career teachers, I have to say, is really high and we're really pleased about that because we get great people in the profession and we work really hard to put the right mechanisms and processes in to support them. Um, we're getting more students into university every single year and even though we're engaging them in new and emerging pedagogies, uh, actually the pathways that they take are many and varied. And we're also seeing, even by traditional measures, improvement in NAPLAN growth, for instance. Um, but the data we're most interested in is the data that we gather that's fit for purpose. So we use a whole range of tools to evaluate the impact of the work that we do. And one of the critical elements of that is both teacher voice and student voice, where they're giving us feedback about what's working for them and what's not working for them. We'd been using design thinking for a few years before we met EC, um, but actually in retrospect we weren't doing it very well and um, EC gave us a really tight process um, for developing prototypes that we could test multiple iterations of fairly rapidly. Um, the EC team had an understanding of what that looked like in other contexts. 
They helped us to really understand not just what the issue was but what the root cause of that issue was and so we suddenly found ourselves attacking the very thing that needed to be attacked in any challenges that we had. I came through the new teacher program with EC and what we did was we did a few days outside of the school doing design thinking, prototyping um, and upskilling me in teaching strategies in the classroom and getting feedback from students. The EC facilitators were so engaging and so motivating and inspiring. I actually really enjoyed working with them. Seeing students deeply engaged in learning that really matters to them, which is facilitated by early career teachers who have worked really hard to make that magic happen, absolutely makes my heart sing. That's my dream for every student in this country, that that's their consistent experience.